Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! Right. You gotta be pumped on that, right? Well, computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. How's it going guys? My name's Timmy Joe. I make videos about computers all over this internet. Just all over it. Spread the love around. And today on the program, I'm in between projects and I've been waiting for some parts and stuff and uh, I just thought I would do a little uh, test because Entermax sent over their Lictech 2 Not for Threadripper. This is, goes on every other socket, Intel or AMD. In fact, I actually have it and you know we'll be looking over in a second on a phenom processor on an FX motherboard. Ooh, more phenoms. Don't worry, it's like the last video I'll do on AMD phenom or FX in a really long time. So uh, yeah, we'll look on here, just check her out. Woo, what do we got for, uh, yeah, zero degrees on the packages here? Jesus Christ, 4.92 or 4.392 gigahertz and boosting up to 4.419, that is ridiculous. And of course, we have her hanging out the window. I'll go ahead and fire off a Cinebench. And uh, yeah, so Mike thought he could, uh, you know, challenge me on Twitter. If you go over to his Twitter here, check out Mike's channel, uh, F2F Tech, super nice guy. He needs more subscribers. He needs more incentives to do more lots of videos. But he's like, hey, I saw your Phenom video. I can get 616, because I think I was getting like 608 or something like that. And I was like, dude, you really want to challenge me? You really want to challenge me? The guy that knocks stuff out the window? So of course when Intermax sent over that uh, brand new crazy 360 mil AIO and it's got a 500 watt TDP. Yeah, right, but <laughs> it's pretty close. I hung out the window with the 990FX R version three and uh, we got a little fan on the, yeah, we got some 2133 megahertz memory. And oh yeah, this is the star of the show. And she's running full tilt right now, the Intermax, and I'm getting her dirty out the window here, but oh well. We'll see this in a real, you know, pro possible build soon, but it's doing the job on the Phenom, because let's go and check it out. Let's go look. It's pretty close. Click. It's going to happen. Whoa! Booyah! 6. 31 and that's not even the highest score I've got. I think my highest was 636 or something like that. So just destroying it. I can't believe that. That's a really good IPC on the Phenom because as I said in the last uh, video about the Phenom, I've got 825, 830 with an FX 8150 or uh, 9590, um, you know, max. The FX platform maxes out. That's better than FX's IBC because you're getting 631 or more, you know, like we're overclocking the snot out of it, of course, but I've done the same thing with an FX chip before. And uh, we see that I'm getting a pretty better, a little bit better score than I would expect from uh, a, like, well, yeah, if you put added another 25% uh, on top of that, we're into like 850 in Cinebench. So that's pretty damn good if it had the extra two cores compared to the FX. Now I've never tested the FX six cores, maybe because there's a little less heat going on and stuff, but uh, you wanna see how crazy this works out to me? Well, here, look at this, uh, the, this is the BIOS, and you can see I've overvolted this thing well over 1.62 volt, 625, I think. And uh, you know, just so you can see the other settings, cause I like to show the settings, you know, of, of the what I'm doing, how I got the overclock. So pretty damn crazy. And then if you wanna actually go over here, we could check out, I actually would be on the top 20 hardware bot if I did anything properly. Like hardware bot has a lot of rules and you have to use Windows 7 and a bunch of stuff, which actually would get me better scores as it is. But if you want to check that, whoa, uh, I would be what? Uh, here on the list, I'd be 18th. Uh, you know, with, with one of the scores I got. And uh, these guys are all like 4.4 gigahertz all the way to here to number seven, and I'm running 4.4 gigahertz. So I'm eighth for frequency and uh, yeah, uh, running Cinebench, and th that's ridiculous without using LN2. So I should probably start using hot hardware bot like properly and uploading my scores so I can get my name out there because that's pretty fun. But I want to thank Entermax for sending this out. Uh, without it, I couldn't have broke, you know, this insane record of 631 in Cinebench on the Phenom processor. Uh, like if this processor came out nine years ago and I'm overclocking it to 4.4 gigahertz today and getting a pretty crazy score in Windows 10. I could have done better if I wanted to load Windows 7 up on a SSD and fired it in there. But uh, Mike, thanks for the challenge. I would uh, challenge you back. 
if you have some way of beating this record, but unfortunately, I kind of smashed your record by, um, what, uh, you had six, 16? So, yeah, it's about 15 points better, buddy. You'll have to come out next time fighting with something different, a full custom AIO or a phase-changing chiller or something to beat Timmy Joe at his own game. So I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you very much for watching. I'm at Timmy Joe on Instagram and Twitter. This will be the last Phenom or even FX video I do for a while. I know I've kind of beat a dead horse with this, but I had to share with the world that I was able to get a Phenom that high. Because if you look on YouTube, it's you know it's hard to find people overclocking the snot out of these because they're so old. And it's kind of fun. Like that's uh, 3770 non-K uh, performance. So 3770 like just running at stock speeds gets about 650 in Cinebench, if that. So it's, you know, beating a, a processor like three generations newer and an Intel that has eight, eight threads and this has only six threads. So that's pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you for watching me scream at the camera. And Mike at F2F Tech, go check out his channel. I'll leave a thing in the end. You should go check it out. He does uh, old video card retrospectives and uh, you know, all kinds of cool tech stuff. And he's just generally a super nice guy and I love the sound of his voice when he's doing benchmarks. So I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you very much. Have a good day.